Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my wood shop. Today, we're going to go over uh, Adirondack squirrel feeder chair. Uh, my first ever build like this, uh, the original video that I got this from, uh, will be down in the description along with some other links to things that I've got going on here. And if you have any questions about this build or any suggestions, uh, leave them down below because uh, I've got a lot to learn since uh, I've never done anything like this. So let's get started on this project. This whole squirrel feeder project is made from one fence picket. Starting from the top of the fence picket, I'm making a 12 inch cut. That's going to be on the back side that attaches to your surface. The second cut is for the bottom of the feeder and that's 10 inches. Measured one inch up from the bottom and put a line on there so it'll show me where the base is going to be at. Double check my straightness, a little bit of glue, both sides, and then I put clamped it up. You notice all the paint on that clamp. So I put brad nails in there to help steady up while I was uh, drilling and countersinking. Uh, the clamp wouldn't work again, too much paint. So I just used a drill counter sink combination I got from Home Depot. Three bits in one package. It wasn't very much for that. And then I'm using an inch and a quarter screws to secure it because there's going to be a lot of weight on that with the squirrel and the feeder and stuff. And then the rest of the fence picket, uh, first strip is an inch and a quarter. Second strip is going to be an inch. And the final strips are going to be three quarters of an inch. Pop the breaker on the power strip. The next step is for the base of the chair. I need a three quarter inch, four and a quarter long. The first cut I'm gonna make is 15 degree angle. Then I'm just going to straighten out the saw and make another cut, and there's both should be a four and a quarter. And then I'm going to need two more pieces at four and a quarter inches. Then I just glued all four pieces and used a brad nail to uh, hold until the glue set up. Right there's the 15 degree piece, and another flat piece. That angle you see on the edge of the bench there is a piece of stainless steel for landscaping. Now for the back, I'm cutting up five pieces of three quarter inch at eight inches long. For the back, I just laid out the colors the way I kind of liked it. Um, then kept everything straight, measured down 5 eighths of an inch on both sides, and then just freehanded a curve in there. To cut out the curve, I used a Milwaukee M12 jigsaw. The uh, link for that saw is going to be in the description. I'm using a central machinery belt sander from Harbor Freight to smooth out the corners to where I like it. I'm just hand sanding the sharp edges off. The top back brace is six and three quarters inches long, cut from a three quarter inch piece, and the edges are cut at a 25 degree angle. And is two and a half inches down from the top of the center. Three quarters of an inch between each one of the blocks. I am gluing this up and stapling it for a jig for future projects. Bottom brace is from a one inch piece and I am lining it up on these blocks to, for future projects and I put lines across the top there for when I glue it back together it lines up. Then I just set it up and uh, drew around it for my template for the future. The bottom chair support is five inches from the top.
And before applying the glue, you should probably get something to drink first instead of after you set that. Both the leg and the arm support are cut from the one inch board. The arm support is an uh, inch and a half long, cut out of 45. The leg is four and a quarter inches, both cut from. I attach the legs uh, one and a half inches up from the bottom of the board. Then I just put some glue on it, brad nailed it. Uh, the brad nailer I got from uh, Harbor Freight. It's the 18 gauge brad nailer. It was like $20, I think. I then leveled out the base on the bottom to make sure I was getting that even so it wasn't all saggy everywhere. Then I drilled and countersunk two holes four and an eighth inches long and then used an inch and a quarter screws. I cut two boards seven inches long out of the inch and a half board. Then I made a line at three quarters of an inch up and then I drew a line at inch and a half and at three inches. And then I freehanded the curve again for the back of the arms. Then I used my old Craftsman bandsaw to cut out the curve. And then back to the belt center to smooth out the corners. I doubled them up so they could look about the same. quick hand sand just to get the edges off. I aligned the arm up with the bottom brace and used a little bit of glue and a few brad nails. I cut six pieces of three quarter inch board at four and a quarter inches long, and those will be for the seat. Then I went an inch in in the center of the board and uh, drilled another hole for the screw. And before I put everything away, I got to cut out my uh, template for my next one. And to seal it, I just use polyacrylic. Well, that's going to be it for me for today and this build. Uh, I got a mess going here. I eventually, like soon, I'm going to have to put them drawers in there because I got to get all this off the top and get in drawers. It was kind of a fun build. I built me a jig on along the way and. Uh, well, it's going to be a little off here and there and I'm going to have to change a few things here and there until I get to where I want, like it and uh, I'm going to be making a lot more of these. Anyhow, any comments or questions or suggestions sit down in the bottom. Please comment, like, and subscribe and click the notification bell for when the next video is released. Everybody have a good evening and we'll see you next one.